What's up guys and welcome back. This is my new to me 2006 BMW uh, 530 XIT. As you can see it's a touring model which meaning it's a wagon. Uh, this car is all wheel drive and we're going to make it uh, a lot cooler than it is uh, as cheaply as possible. So in the past I did a really really cheap budget build Mazda RX-8 that I bought for $200. Uh, I'm going to assume it was the cheapest one in the country. Um, I ended up having like $1,300 in it by everything you know all said and done and we made it really cool and everybody seemed to love that. Uh, it's still one of my most viewed videos is just that whole series of the RX-8. We painted it and all kinds of stuff and made it low for cheap and not the safest thing to do, but uh, everybody seemed to like it. So we're doing another cheap build. Uh, however, this car is going to stay with us. We're going to make it into a daily driver slash road trip machine. We're going to throw some bike racks on top and we're going to take this thing, you know, mountain biking trips. Might even go camping in it. I don't know. We'll see. So being that this car is a 2006 model, you can imagine it probably has quite high mileage. And you would be correct. And there are some places on the car where it just, it really shows. I'm sure there is also a whole bunch of things that have went unmaintained uh, probably its entire life. As you can see, there's just a lot of little details that are wrong with this car. And that's really what makes a car for me is all the fine little details being correct and not broken. And well, there's a lot of things on this car that are currently broken. Uh, one of those things being the hatch, as well as the key. Um, so you can't open it with the key and you can't open it with the button on the hatch. So this is an assisted lift tailgate and assisted close. Uh, but as you can see, it sometimes doesn't even do this. It doesn't even open partially uh, most of the time, but every now and then you'll get it open this much, and then you can just pry it the rest of the way up. Then you can have access to your stuff in the back. But if you want to put it down, push this lock back in place, you know, the usual, uh, and then you just press your button and and as easy as that, you have access to your entire belongings. So when this car was new it actually did come with quite a few features uh, including this panoramic roof which I think is really cool but the only thing about it is the sunshade doesn't work uh, so we're going to tint that just really dark and not worry about the sunshade uh, as you can see I've actually already tinted this back portion and I'm clearly not a professional tinter so you can see the gap that I left and the sun comes in uh, in that little gap but I'm really not that worried about it uh, so we're going to do the front at some point as well when you take a look at the interior you'll notice that there is a really big need for a good detailing and then you'll see things like this this uh, broken knob here and uh, this ripped shift boot actually uh, made the shifter for it 
And then you'll see that cup holder over there that I'm repairing because the front vinyl or leather piece actually broke off. Um, so we uh, JB welded that. Nice cost effective fix. You can see all of the years and years worth of neglect and pain that this car has felt. And then even things like this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but only only the middle one moves. The rest do not move, it's broken. But that's okay, we're not worried about that too much. You can just see all of the, the wear over the years that this car really has. Uh, like I said, the key uh, also doesn't do anything uh, other than start the car. Not exactly sure what's causing that yet. But we'll find out. If you, if you already know what's causing that, just tell me. It might be a fuse or something. Then we start the car, and there's actually no check engine lights or anything. But what you do see is that the car has over 201,000 miles. I'm not really worried about that. I've had many of these cars over 200,000 miles, and they've treated me really well. Uh, but as you can see there, we have a malfunction, a level control system malfunction. And that's actually caused by the air ride that came on this car factory. Uh, those tend to go bad. Uh, so it's been replaced with some coilovers. And uh, this actually wasn't here until I started messing with the coating the other day. And I accidentally uncoated that apparently and uh, now I'm trying to figure out how to code that back but I did get the digital speedometer coded in so that's good it's a big plus so as with any old car uh, that have these struts on them uh, they don't work um, so that's you know that's a plus uh, as you can see here I actually took some uh, black enamel gloss spray paint and just uh, spray painted the grills because they looked awful they were very satin black and faded and had these ugly little stripes on them uh, which obviously this is not an m car so it doesn't deserve the m stripes the motor however is a uh, three liter inline six and i've had a couple of these and they're quite reliable i've worked on a whole bunch of them um, this car has all kinds of new gaskets um, I did get all the paperwork with it. Uh, the only gasket that I could see straight away that's bad is this oil filter housing gasket. Or well, not the oil filter housing gasket, but the engine oil cooler gasket that goes from here to here. As you can see, that's leaking. We will replace that when we do the oil change. We'll also do a coolant flush on it. Uh, we're going to do some brake pads and brake rotors to get this thing nice and safe. On the driver's side, it needs a lower control arm. Uh, the ball joint is very worn out on it. But otherwise, it's a pretty good running car. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Um, oh yeah, and we shortly uh, found out that the all-wheel drive uh, does not work anymore. So we've diagnosed that to be the transfer case actuator, actuator motor. Uh, we're going to order one of those tonight and we'll be putting that in because we want this uh, all-wheel drive system to work, obviously. So a lot in store for this car, as you can tell. You can just uh, see the dirtiness and the filth on these seats. I don't know that it's ever been cleaned, um, actually really detailed, we'll fix that. Uh, we are going to put these wheels on it with some different size tires, come off of our 2014 BMW M5 competition. Uh, so we're definitely going to make this thing a lot cooler for as cheap as possible. And it should be, should be a good build. We're gonna keep this thing for a long time, so. 
All right, guys. First thing we're going to do is go to go ahead and tint this front panel here. I want to clean the outside of it really good, clean the inside of it really good, and then I'm going to lay the tint over top on the outside, and then I'll cut it out, and then I will, of course, then put it on the inside and we'll uh, squeegee it out. All right, guys. So I put this light on the inside so that when I lay the tint over the top, I can see the outline that I need to cut out out of the tent and now I'm going to uh, this is actually just soapy water I'm going to go ahead and spray the whole top and then you'll see me cut it out I'll try to show you what I'm talking about For a minute and a whole damn week No kidding, I'm skinny, I cannot eat Got a million motherfuckers that depend on me Yeah, every friend in my family If I'm a girl, every fan I meet myself I'm too long and I'm too off Come down to make new thoughts Like jumping off of that rooftop Oh my devil, when I do not to make moves Based on my mood drops Like who's lost all right guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and spray the whole inside here and I'm gonna switch my light from inside to outside. That way I can see all my lines again. Like who's lost? It's yo, yo. Scandal and killing me, running my brain full of shame. I don't wanna lose it. I'm from the stage, trying to find my brain. I see something coming out of that brain. I'm not saying really not tame. I'ma never slow down, I'ma never behave. I'm stuck inside this prison, inside this cage. It's taking over. All right, guys, got that tin on. Looks pretty decent. Uh, you can see I got some uh, some fingers still in it. Uh, I didn't use any heat with it, so I'm just gonna hope that dries out just a little bit, and then we will uh, hopefully let that stick. But props to anybody who does window tint because there's no freaking way that I could deal with doing that every single day. It's awful. Guess we could uh, check up on our. JB welded cup holder here. Pull this tape off. Oh nice. This whole piece up to here was folded outwards. And uh button still works perfect. Heck yeah, it looks so much better. Oh, it's stuck. It comes out though. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, it works. So success. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and do some some brakes and the lower control arm uh, for the driver's side. Devin just bought a new impact. Uh, I've got a DeWalt 20 volt XR brushless impact and it's got a five amp hour battery that's got two bars worth of charge. And then he's got a <clears throat> Ryobi uh, it's just their brush, their their base model impact, three speed, and then which power. mine has this uh the solid socket, and his has an extension on it because we don't have another one uh, that's the same as this one, uh, so there might be disadvantages or advantages to either. But we're going to uh, I guess see or compare to the two a little bit, and just do one bolt on each wheel, and then. We can swap the uh, socket and see if it makes any difference. Ready, set, go. Oh. Try 
Try this one. Bro. <laughs> He's not doing anything. <laughs> You're like over there done and just looking over. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We've swapped now. Uh, I have the extension and he has the solid. Okay. Uh, ready, set, go. That time, that's, I mean, that's pretty good, though. Yeah. I feel like that first one was just... It probably was. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> for you. For you. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is remove this control arm. There's a 21 millimeter bolt right here that needs to come off. And then there's also a bolt right here where it mounts. Uh, let's see, right there. And that needs to come off. So it's probably going to be pretty hard to actually film in there to see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to set the camera up and uh, let you guys enjoy. Ripping heart of my mess, never stop, no rest till the stress is spread through my chest. Till the diamonds wrap in my neck, progress to a god from a goddamn mess, whole place, more tests. Well, I guess we gotta put the old one back on. Because I guess some people just don't understand uh, what driver's side means and passenger side. Driver side being this one, uh, but they sold me a passenger side. Well, since we weren't able to replace that part, we'll do it some other time, and uh, we'll be changing the rotors and the brake pads. Uh, so he's going to paint these, um, and since these are coming off, it doesn't matter if we get paint on them, so now's the best time to do it. So I'm going to hit this with a wire brush and clean it off, and then we'll go ahead and start primering it. No bless, duck deep down trying to find my best. Find a beast, had a killer conquest, I'm next I'm too on till I'm too off Come down, make new thoughts Like jumping off of that rooftop Hold my camera when I do not Make moves based on my mood drops Like who's lost? Like who's lost? It's yo, it's gone Stand on the killer, be right in my brain Full of shame, I don't wanna lose shame I'm full of shame, trying to find my pain I see something coming out of that brain I'm going to use some uh, spray paint on here since we're doing a budget build, uh, metal cast base coat. Got everything in here masked off. Alright guys, now we've got three coats of the base color, base coat on there. And this is the color coat we're going to use, uh, blue something some kind of blue it's blue and it has blue but it looks more like a candy blue to me three coats of this as well all right guys now you can see uh we've got some coats some coverage on here we got three coats on here uh, now we're going to go ahead and take this all apart uh, I painted this little piece that holds the tension on everything the tension clip I painted it black you can see all the 
has like metallics and pearls and stuff in it. it looks pretty good but I'm going to take the brake caliper off and then I'll take the brake uh, rotor off and the pads and then we'll install new ones and while I'm doing that Rachel is going to uh, start shampooing the carpet carpet's pretty rough in here haven't even looked under these that's not that bad but back here <clears throat> back here is pretty dirty looks like they had kids and spill all kinds of uh, bodily fluids back here uh, obviously we don't want that haven't looked under here kind of gross uh, don't know what that is looks like a little foam dinosaur that you put in water and it grows anyways uh, this floor mat is like destroyed uh, it's deteriorating very badly so I think what I'm gonna do is pop this rear seat out and pop both front seats out and uh, that way we can get it really good and get all this all these germs and stuff out of here all right so I got the seat out it's got some plastic covers on it just pop that off it's a t50 there 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 and there as you can tell the interior is uh, quite disgusting and we're gonna try to make it look brand new again pop that seat back out all it is is a clip here and a clip there all you gotta do is pull up on it uh, so yeah we'll try to get all these stains out of here I can't do that side uh, until I turn the car around so I'll wait until I do that side uh, the brakes on that side uh, so we're gonna try to get this thing looking new we're gonna shop back at first and then we'll uh, shampoo it real good and see what it looks like I wish I were the same, making bad decisions, it should be my middle name, I love playing with fire, it's my favorite guy, watch me by my whole house down, I feel a thing. So there is uh, just what a vacuum can do. Tremendously better, obviously. Now time for a shampoo. All right guys, so uh, I've just been scrubbing this seat with a pretty aggressive brush and some, this is actually just soap and water, uh, not quick detailer, but this is a, uh, after and this is before before after just scrubbing like 20 years worth of uh, baby shit out of here 
<laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess that's what it is. I'll, I'll put a tape, piece of tape right here, and I'll do half of it, and then we'll come back to it and show you the difference. So it looks like the water got under the tape a little bit, but you can see the, the clear line right here of unclean and greasy and disgusting and old and whatever else. And then the, the clean with just soap, water, and a brush and wiping it off with a microfiber. And a lot of people, they'll go out and they'll buy Adam's polishes or... Um, even Meguiar's or anything anything expensive like chemical guys and nothing against those products at all but for leather seats and leather door panels or plastic this you can't really find anything better that works uh, this well and uh, this cheap this literally costed me almost nothing and about 30 seconds of my life and then we have almost brand new looking seat. I could even go in and get this little tiny spot out uh, if I wanted. But why would you go out and spend $30 on a product uh, to do the same thing? And then all I'm going to do after this is put some uh, Meguiar's leather conditioner on here. Uh, this leather's pretty old. Uh, it's a little bit dry, uh, even though it looks disgustingly moist over here. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that to every panel on the car, the dash, uh, the vents with a smaller, uh, easier brush, obviously, a softer brush. Um, yeah, big difference here. Uh, get rid of all these contaminants and nastiness uh, with like 30 cents worth of soap and water. This is what happens when I'm out of my medicine. This collateral damage, I gotta go. I'm sorry that I stole your car. Ain't got those tattoos on my arms. That don't mean shit to me. Maybe you should pull the alarm. So I don't take it way too far. Dive up for 23. I'm sorry, Ma. Alright guys, so we did the front and rear brakes, uh, rotors, pads, and then of course painted the calipers nice and pretty. So uh, there's that job done. There's no telling you're the right girl, so I can only say that it feels right, it feels right, it feels right, yeah, I can only say that it feels right. That it feels right That it feels right That it feels right Alright guys, so Got a GoPro Let me know how you like this view instead of my uh, regular view So hopefully this will make things a lot cooler and more interesting uh, so first things first we're going to jack up the car take off the wheel and we're going to replace the lower control arm that we were supposed to replace the other day that they gave us the wrong part well now we have the correct part so that's what we're going to do
whenever you jack up the car, make sure you get it onto the actual jacking point. Probably didn't see that, but there's a little rubber mount under there. Care to turn that light on, the one on the right. Come over here, grab the impact and 17 millimeter. Also, going to go ahead and grab the 21 millimeter somewhere around here. There it is. That'll be for the, the ball joint bolt. Probably just scratched. Yep, nice. Scratch the uh, calibers that we did the other day. I'm gonna grab my little headlight. Headlights are pretty helpful. Take and turn the steering wheel all the way to the right. Also, don't forget your jack stands. Put it under the subframe here. Take this twenty one. you all could not see that at all but it's uh, that right there and now we've got that one there uh, that's 18 millimeter Now let's compare them again. Looks like they actually did give us the correct part this time. Uh, so that's helpful. There's a comparison of the two ball joints. As you can see, one is uh, nearly deflated and completely just trash. Compared to the other one, let's see if the other one's still the same size. Nope, 22 millimeter probably. I guess we need 22 then.
22. Yep, 22 millimeter. Can they see anything on my phone? <laughs> yeah? I just changed it a little bit. That's pretty good. Oh, that's 18. little wobble socket on here. Torque to spec. it with a torque wrench. I'm pretty sure it's got enough torque on it though. On my own stuff I'm not all that picky. Other people's stuff I'm actually getting out a book and reading torque specs. A hundred foot pounds seem safe. sure that was a pleasant view for them. I gotta get used to having this thing on my chest. How how's it look compared to like the other view though, like normal view? I mean is it cooler? I watch this because I actually get to see more of what's happening than being five foot in the air still in the same spot the whole time. True. I think this is more informative. 
camera actually moves. <laughs> Every now and then. For when you get those crappy angles of your crotch, you can get yep. those out and put in the. <laughs> True. True. Good point. So before it was very wobbly side to side but seems to be good now so uh that was the problem now pull this jack stand out need to jack it up some more And uh, voila. Oh wait, I need to torque these. I always torque my wheels to 100 foot pounds. Here we go. That was easy. All right, well, this is the forehead cam. We'll see uh, how well this does. About to have a bunch of cool stuff on the M5. Stay tuned for that. A whole bunch of stuff. Just go ahead and ignore this uh, level control system malfunction. If anybody knows how to code that out, please let me know. I have Pro Tool, I just am not sure exactly what code out on it. Just <laughs> being really freaking weird <laughs> with the camera on my head. <laughs> I rolled the window down. <laughs> Just stared at him. <laughs> that was oh, that was weird. <laughs> I was wondering if that was a cop, and then of course, of course, it was a cop. The Let's make it like extra chilling. freaking weird. <laughs> He was just like sitting there like eating a donut or something, trying to enjoy life. And we just slide, roll down this window tent. He's just like, I better go do something. All right guys, that's gonna be all for this video. Let me know if you like the GoPro, I'll probably end up using it a lot more uh, just to get a more in-depth personal point of view uh, from what we're actually doing. I think it'll be a lot more interesting. But there's the 2006 E61, uh, I guess first, first portion of the build, part one, whatever you want to call it. 
lot in store for this car. Uh, we're not going to sell it. I know I'm really bad for selling it, selling our cars and then um, getting something new. But uh, this time we're going to keep this and I'm going to try to be a lot more into the projects and record a lot more and try to just provide a lot more content with a lot better quality. But that'll be it for this video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Subscribe, like, and share. And we'll see you in part two.